so same example i am taking and i will do some initial load or full load so for that i can i will change the data and this is some 11 29 2015 assuming that this is my initial data so i am loading it into one qvd file i am taking one one fresh dot qvw file so this i will make it as initial load or full load this qvw name i will name it like that to so load the existing source file manual incremental and load it into one qvd file so you can take this center this store command and finally store it into one qvd save it with initial load or full load we can say the application name you can save it as full load click on save reload so i need to give this table name here incremental both must be same incremental save and reload this is called as initial load or full load so you can see the data in the front end four records will be there okay so now we'll see how to do the insert update incremental load with another dot qw file so in the existing source i have added new data so one new row has been added this is called as insert so one new row has been added in the existing source and this must be added on 0 29 2000 16 okay so one data has been added this is insert we call it as and one has been updated so china has been updated to pakistan so one insert has happened one update has happened and assuming that one deletion also has happened so i have deleted this data so now this is my current source data so i want this data into my existing uh, qvd file so but if you see in the existing qvd file i am having four rows but different records are there now china has been moved to pakistan and one more uh, this europe has been deleted entire row and one row has been added so that i want to be here in my click view into this qvd so how we do this incremental load here means normally we take another qvw file and there we will write the logic so i am taking one new application first load the take the existing qvd file click on table files select here insurance qvd uh, incremental next next and finish okay so from this you need to take only the date column from the existing qvd take the max maximum date max of last updated column as max date so in order to achieve the incremental load logic first you need to take the maximum date from the last updated column load only the max maximum date suppose previously our uh, our source data was this one if you can see this file this is your source data and from this existing qvd i am taking the maximum date from the existing qvd okay and click on save and give this name as one incremental qvw file incremental click on save and give it as max date table so while discussing about the functions concept i told that whenever if you want to store the maximum date or minimum date into one variable 
normally we use the peak function because I want to store this maximum date into one variable. So if you want to store this maximum date into one variable means you need to use here one peak function with let variable. So I am using here let v date equal to otherwise v max date I can give v max date equal to now you need to write the peak function peak of field name what is your field name here this is your field name enclose in single quotation and give the field name comma row number row number means only one date so the position will be zero comma the table name table name here is max date colon So you have stored the maximum date click on save and reload so now you can test whether this maximum date has been stored into this variable or not so you have declared one maximum date and you have stored this maximum date into this variable so if you want to test whether it is exactly loaded or not means in the front end you can take one text object and here you can add v max date as your variable click on apply ok now if you can see here normally in click view whenever if you give load maximum of date and uh, max date and if you load it into variable means it will load in the click view specific format called as in five digit number so if you can see the currently your maximum date is 10 27 11 29 2015 this is your maximum date in your existing qvd so if you use maximum function and if you load it into one variable automatically this date is nothing equal to this five digit number so click we will assign some numbers to the dates randomly so this is the date which is stored into variable so now you need to write the logic for insert logic you need to write updation logic you need to write and deletion logic you need to write so for insert you know whenever if you want to do insert means insert logic we need to load the existing source file and we need to give the condition where last updated date greater than so and so column so for insert I am writing the logic insert logic load the existing source file manual files incremental load and give here condition where last updated date last update Gre not it, it's not greater than or equal to here it's only greater than because whatever the data has been added after that maximum date that only i want to filter so greater than so in order to pass this variable so now i want to pass this v maximum date variable here because every time we cannot hard code and we cannot directly send the values here so in order to pass the variable in a where condition how we need to pass means you need to open this this brackets and inside this you need to give here dollar updated date greater greater than so directly you need to give here dollar and inside this you need to give the variable name so in order to pass the variable in a scripting you need to pass like this you need to give dollar symbol and inside that you need to open the bracket and you need to pass your variable so what is your variable v max state close it means what it will do it will filter the data whatever has been re added recently last updated date greater than v max state so if you want to test you can test it click on insert now take this enter into one table box you must have seen whatever has been updated those data will be filtered so if you see here whatever has been updated and inserted those data has been updated here according to the recent data they have been updated here so for this also we need to change the date i have updated it to pakistan so automatically this date also must be changed here 
1 March it has been updated click on save so previously it was Sri Lanka have updated so whenever if you update automatically date also will be updated now click on save and reload so this is how we uh, have written for insert logic now we need to write for update logic update logic so you know how to write the update logic in order to do update of incremental load what you need to write means you need to load the existing QBD and use here not exist function so load the existing QBD file click on table files go to the existing QBD QBD file incremental load next finish and you need to give here where not exist of prime ID and you are doing concatenation you are concatenating this one not existing of prime ID You can name it as incremental the table name so this logic is for insert logic and this is for incremental load logic not existing of prime id so this will work for update this logic why means suppose now here here you are giving word not existing of prime id so if you see here in your existing source you are having two columns whatever does not exist only those will be inserted from this table and finally now you need to write for delete logic so delete logic means inner join you need to give and you need to load the only the prime id from the existing table so go to table files Inference manual files select your existing file and select only prime ID from this table. This is for delete logic. So like this we will in one qbw file we will name it as incremental qbw file and we will write the logic like this first store the maximum date from the existing qbd and store it into one variable using the maximum date and now we do the incremental lo logic we will write update logic we will write and delete logic we will write so whenever if new data has been added or new data has been updated we directly reload this dashboard so automatically this entire script logic will do the incremental load logic so every time we cannot store we cannot uh, hard code this maximum date for that we have directly declared one let variable it will keep on changing suppose if you are reloading it today's maximum date is 29 assuming that if you reload after one week automatically the maximum date will be different so automatically its let variable will be keep on changing and it will filter the data based on this condition now finally if I want to do incremental load, I can directly run this logic. Now, if you can see here, finally I got my new data. Whatever is my new data has been coming in my existing source. So, the pre this 33 has been added. This is the insert which has happened, and one row has been deleted. So, the deleted row has been gone, and I have updated it one location from to Pakistan, China to, to Pakistan. So, finally you got this new set of rows. Whatever is there in your current source. So this is my current source data so like that we will do here we will write this logic and in this way we can achieve the incremental load so every time you cannot no need to comment this you can write when this kind of logic if you want to do incremental load directly if you click on this all the logic is there inside this then it will do the incremental load for this one so this is the concept of 
incremental load so normally if you are working with any project suppose you might be working with one project which are having around so in that project you might be having around some 60 qvd files 60 qvd files will be there so all must not be incremental loads all qvds will not be incremental only some qvd will have the incremental load logic one some qvds will have full load logic so that depends upon what tables they are using so generally incremental load will happen only on transactional tables transactional tables means the tables which they keep on updating weekly or monthly or daily tables also will be there so mainly on trans if you are uh, mainly using the transactional tables on those tables only incremental load will happen not on all the qvds will have incremental load logic so how we come to know whether it is having any incremental load and all means you need to open that particular dot qw file and you need to see the logic of the script so by seeing the script you must be able to analyze that if you have this kind of script it is nothing but they have done some incremental load if this kind of logic is not there means it is nothing but full load only every time they will be doing full load so this is how we uh, have qw files for initial load like this and in the incremental load we first take the maximum date from the existing qvd file and store it into one variable using the peak function using this vmax date peak function we will store it into one variable after that we will write our insert logic so insert logic means nothing but where last updated date greater than that vmax date update logic we will write it by using the not exist function not existing of prime id and delete logic is nothing but inner join of your existing file